Hi friends, in this video I am going to talk about an interesting company called LMS Academy founded by Prem Anand Sethurajan. Regarding today's agenda, it's going to be pretty simple how the company helps the society and the technology used to build the product and the system design my view. LMS, let's make engineering simple. This episode is a special episode because this company is an inspiration for me and for many people because the way they impact the society is really nice and great because the way they teach the science in a simple way to kids is awesome. They are doing a really great job. One more good news, yesterday they crossed 100 million views which is an excellent achievement. Vertical. The way the team members explain the concepts are very nice to kids. I attended one of the sessions. They explained about numbers and mathematics. The explanation was really clear. They explained the reason why we have to use numbers and with some great examples. Till now, anytime if you ask me, I can explain why we need numbers. Now let's see what are the products and services they provide. So these are the products they have. Big Bang, Camps, hands and Learning Experiments. They have 1000 plus teaching videos corporate events, teacher empowerment and weekend classes. Apart from this, they also have an app called Chitty. Chitty app is a huge library of 1000 plus concert videos and projects. These are the different types of featured apps which you can register and explore. I believe this will be a great product for kids to learn more about science and maths. Now let's see the technology stack used to build this application. So it looks like they are using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and Vue.js. Vue.js is a JavaScript framework to build single page applications. Yarn is a package manager where once you complete it with your coding, you can use Yarn to package it well so that you can deploy to production. And Git is a, a client tool to connect with Git repository. And Node.js is like a backend server. You can use it as a backend server. And MySQL is database and Redis is for caching. And then Docker is for building your images. And finally, they're using Agile methodologies, which is a, a software development method. So it looks like this is the technology stack used to build this product. I don't know about the GT app because there is so many videos they they upload i don't know the architecture system design how the gt app works because they have thousands of videos uploaded but i'm going to share my thoughts about how the system might look like let's see now let's see the high level picture of this product how it might have been designed so there are two group of people here involved or users i would say the students who are interested to learn science and mathematics and other subjects and there are teachers or experts who know the content really well the concepts really well so they're going to record the concepts and explain really well capture in a video and then they're going to upload to the e-content platform or content platform so there are thousands of videos teachers and the content creators going to upload to this platform and it is categorized well based on subjects or the grade level students can register themselves and start searching and start learning using these videos this is at a very high level now let's see some more details about this content platform for example i'm going to use aws as a cloud provider so i've used multiple resources from the aws cloud provider and and share my thoughts about the system design so there are multiple resources i'm using in this picture you can see there are multiple resources from aws cloud platform let's see step by step as a content creator i can log in to the system using Amazon Cognito which is a resource for authentication. So once authentication is done, they are going to upload the videos to the S3 bucket. So it will be like an original format and there is a lambda which will be triggered on time basis. It's going to pull the videos and then create in multiple format based on the resolution. So that when the user try to log into the system, they, they can view this educational videos in different format and different resolution. This is how videos can be stored and streamed by the users and the lambda also while extracting this video and converting to into different format they also extract the metadata and store in the amazon dynamo db so that people can start searching for videos i am not given much details i'm just giving you a high level uh, of how the system might look like if you have any other ideas or you want to improve or if you have any other system design thoughts, please share in the comment section. Friends, I shared about the system design and technology stack used in LMS Academy in Startup Talk. The team is really doing a great job. In the milestone reach under the Kaga, interview.learning look vertical. Hope this small information is helpful. All the best for your career. Please subscribe to interview.channel. Thank you.